In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Please kneel, let us recognize our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore he has blessed me and never heard of it. All the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace, we are enriched with every blessing. Grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. For our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Philip, and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stay your seats. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly had condemned Susanna to death. But Susanna cried aloud, O oh, eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things for which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer, and as she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to the court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel the elder said, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated, one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age! Now have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, and condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty. Although the Lord says the innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me, under what tree you saw them together? Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, your fine lie has cost you your head. For the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought and said to him, Offspring of Cana, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you and lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel and in their fear they yielded to you but a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then tell me, under what tree you surprised them together? Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, your fine lie has cost you also your head. 
For the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end to you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words, Daniel had convicted them of perjury. And according to the law of Moses, that they inflicted on them the penalty that they had plotted to inflict upon their neighbor. They put them to death. And thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion, that he may live. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, um, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught on adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stun such women. So, what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he bent down and rolled on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go 
and from now on do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Well, it was really hard last night to think in what I was supposed to say today. Because we live in times with I thought that the snowflakes are just uh, send it to the young people. But it's like a contagious, like a virus. Everybody is offended with everything. So please, if this, what I'm going to say, doesn't apply to you, don't make a big deal. <laughs> I remember the uh, homily I said the day we celebrated the uh, grandparents of Jesus. Um, remember? Yeah. The homily? Saint Anne Joachim, oh. yeah, and I told you that evil grows older, and cheaters, those robbers, sneakers, people who lust, who steal, they also grow old. And I was saying this with all responsibility because I also make a joke that was very popular in Espanol. El diablo sabe más por viejo que por diablo. The devil is clever not because he's the devil, it's because he knows he's older. You got it? So what I'm saying today, because the first reading was the short version, your homework is to read the complete version today before after Mass. We have the example of two groups of elders, a couple who lost on Susanna. Who were appointed as judges and as well the ones who want to stone the woman before Jesus. Time to time we have to remind ourselves that the ages give us wisdom, give us more, uh, the better vision of life. And sadly, little by little, we have developed a group who become less and less wiser and claiming entitlement to be treated in a fair way with their open life, their lives, they were the one who crossed the lines, who make sins. And it's the perfect time to recognize for those ones who have done things in the past, to become humble, to invite the young generation to act better, not demanding them because they are authority of their age, but because the power of their wisdom. But we have started, we had some grandparents who says, well, you learn from your mistakes. Well, I respect your freedom. Well, these times are different. No, we can develop a generation of grandparents, of people who will get older with all respect, who tolerate the sin who don't encourage their kids, their grandkids, to do better, to transfer the power of their wisdom by the mistakes they were made. And it's more afraid for me and my colleagues that this generation, who is going to become grandparents one day, turn to this kind of these two who condemn Susanna, or those ones who are just ready with their stones to throw on the poor woman who was caught on adultery. So we have to be really careful that the ages, like a good fruit, like the good wine, don't spoil us, so don't turn us into darkness. The ages is not supposed to be in our side. And day by day, year by year, we become closer to Jesus, not because we're not approached to death, but because we are getting the wisdom that really without him, we can do nothing. And dear sisters and brothers, we pray that the age, that time, make us more aware that really God is a truly essential part of our lives. Amen? Amen. Hmm. And the second idea is based on this walk of the path of Susanna. She was saying, Lord, that's at the beginning of today's reading. She was praying, leaving her soul in the hands of God. And a woman who is silent, and maybe she knows that, well, I knew what I was going into, so I have to be prepared. One person was waiting hope in God to be saved. 
or at least to honor God, even suffering an unfair uh, resolution for her destiny, even if she didn't do nothing wrong. But the other woman was maybe given up, says, well, the Lord is obviously going to say yes. But Jesus was in a trap because if he says to the law of Moses, you see, he, he proclaimed mercy. It's the same like us. He lost his popularity. But he says, libre free. Oh, you don't respect the Moses law. And we go to condemn you as well. But Jesus knew the hearts of the people. Again, elder people. Um, I imagine the, what was in the heart of both women. Again, God rescued their dignity and gives them the value they deserve. So be, before the feminism became a thing, just because of it, some people around. Long ago, Jesus was so feminist. <laughs> but these two women were in the opportunity of receiving mercy. And both did. What is the lesson is when you truly know that you deserve or not the consequences of some actions, God is there. He's going to rescue you. And we pray today for those ones who have suffered some kind of injustice. There's people, and you know that, who are in the jail and they fabric things against them because they were against a corporation, against an industry of weapons, they were against a pharmaceutical thing, and some people just disappear. Those souls, if God knows, and the people that were innocent, they immediately are with the Lord. And sometimes there are famous people who from suddenly on, they were the worst people ever. I don't defend it. I just said that only knows. But we have before to condemn some people. We have to look in ourselves before to throw the first stone, before to demand that the others die or pay for their consequences. So dear sisters and brothers, before you make any judgment, let us put in the shoes of the other. So before condemn, let it God be God, but for us, seeing ourselves within us, we can fail too, in other manner, in other way. So if I want to request justice, I have to be the first one who delivers mercy. May the Lord bless us, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. As the solemnity of Easter approaches, dear sisters and brothers, let us our prayer of the Lord be all the more insistent that all of us and the whole multitude of the baptized, together with the entire world, may come to share more abundantly in this sacred mystery. That God may be pleased to increase faith and understanding in the catechumens who are to be initiated this coming feast of Easter by the Holy Baptist in the coming Paschal solemnity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For all people seeing need may find hope that peace and security may be firmly established everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are afflicted or suffering temptation may be strengthened by His grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may learn to distribute the fruits of self-denial for the good of those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, in our prayers of your church, turn with compassion to the hearts that bow before you, that those you make sharers in the divine mystery may never be left without your assistance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please take your seats.
Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and for human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and for human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we bring before you as the fruits of bodily hands, a joyful purified of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven, and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the crown of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, that you, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered glory into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, saints, Savior of the world, for by the cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. See, and Maria Henke, and Julia Luna Vargas, and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who were blessing you throughout the ages, we make merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy, we will always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. In a safe manner, let us give one another a sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to see the end of my life, but only to say the word, and my soul shall not be The body of Christ. Amen. A prayer for spiritual community. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and now our death. Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed from our faults, and by following Christ, casting our steps upward toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a friendly reminding, this coming uh, Friday we have uh, the food boxes delivered every time, uh, sorry, as usual at 1 p.m., but we still continue until April. That's a good news. As well, the um, confessions at 6 p.m., last ones, and this uh, Lent, and of course, the 7 p.m., the bilingual station of the cross. Mm-hmm, I invite you from 7 p.m. And as well, reminded the schedule is as usual for a home Sunday. We only ask you to come five minutes early than usual so we can manage all the, the palms and seating and consider as well to uh, invite the people to reach us. Uh, we we in Holy Week, so don't forget, it's the week that we honor more than ever our Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, peace, God. God bless you.